In this video, I'm going to talk about applying setInterval command to a method rather than a function. It works a little bit differently that way. I'm also going to talk about how to pass parameters using setInterval. So we test our movie, we have this, and this is just a function. Open up your actions panel where we apply the last actions. I'm going to change this function into a method. Before animate, I'm just going to type mc underscore box1 dot. Remember that a method is just a function that's attached to an object. So all I'm doing is attaching it to an object right here. I don't need to say mc underscore box1 anymore. Instead of here, I can just say this. Flash will know that I'm referring to the object this method is being applied to. So now when I try to test it, doesn't animate at all. When you're using set interval with a method, you need to first, before you identify the method, you need to identify the object that the method is going to be applied to. So in the parentheses of set interval before animate, I'm going to type MC underscore box one comma. Notice that it still doesn't work when you test the movie. There's one more thing that you have to do. You have to put the method name in quotes. Now test the movie. And it animates just fine. So that's how you do that. Just to recap, if you want to use set interval with a method, in the parentheses, you first identify the object, and then the method in quotes. So let's say our function had some parameters. Let's say instead of adding 5 to rotation, it's a variable name. So I'm going to take 5 and erase it. Instead I'm going to type p underscore rotation. And for the y position, instead of 1, going to type p underscore y. So I need to identify these parameters inside the parentheses of this function by typing p underscore rotation. It's of the type number, comma, p underscore y, colon, number with capital N. Now when I call it, it doesn't animate again. That's because I need to tell set interval what these values are. So we do that by commas. After the interval number, type a comma, and then you put parameter 1 in, which would be p underscore rotation, the first parameter listed inside of the function. So I can set that to 5, another comma, the next parameter. That would be p underscore y. So I'll set that to 1, test the movie, and there we go. So that's how you use set interval with methods and how you use parameters with set interval as well.